The Journey of Respect. In a small, tight-knit community in Atlanta, a young teenage African-American boy named Jamal was beginning to navigate the complex and often confusing world of adolescence. At 14, Jamal was at that pivotal age where his interests were expanding beyond his childhood pursuits of basketball and comic books. One day, while sitting in the back of the classroom, Jamal found his attention drifting away from the teacher's lecture to a girl sitting a few rows ahead of him. Her name was Mia, and she had a smile that could light up the room. Jamal's parents, devout Christians who observed the Sabbath on Saturdays, often talked to him about respecting women and understanding the difference between love and lust. They would reference the Bible, particularly 1 Timothy 5, 2, which says the elder women as mothers, the younger as sisters, with all purity. They wanted Jamal to understand that relationships should be founded on respect and purity, not just fleeting emotions or physical attraction. One Saturday evening after the Sabbath service, Jamal sat down with his parents in their cozy living room. The aroma of freshly baked cookies filled the air and his mother handed him a warm cookie as they settled onto the couch. Jamal, his father began, I know you're growing up and starting to notice girls more. That's perfectly natural, but we want to talk to you about how to interact with them in a way that honors God and shows them the respect they deserve. Jamal nodded, feeling a bit embarrassed, but also curious. He wanted to understand how to navigate these new feelings and interactions properly. Remember what the Bible says in 1 Timothy 5, 2. His mother continued, you should treat the younger women as sisters with all purity. This means seeing them as people, not objects. It means valuing their hearts and minds, not just their appearances. Jamal thought about Mia and how he admired her intelligence and kindness, not just her smile. He realized that his parents were right. He wanted to know Mia for who she was, not just how she looked. His father went on to explain the importance of marriage and the distinction between love and lust. He quoted Hebrews 13, 4, which says, Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. True love, Jamal, his father said, is about being patient and kind. It's about putting the other person first and treating them with honor and respect. Lust, on the other hand, is selfish. It's all about what you want and how you feel. And remember, relationships should be aimed at preparing for the future, not just playing house. Boyfriend and girlfriend situations can often lead to temptations and distractions from what truly matters. Jamal absorbed his parents' words, understanding that he needed to approach his feelings with a sense of maturity and respect. He decided to take a different approach with Mia. Instead of trying to impress her or make her notice him, he would befriend her and get to know her as a person. The next day at school, Jamal found an opportunity to talk to Mia. They ended up working together on a science project, and Jamal discovered that she loved reading and had a passion for animals. They laughed and talked, and Jamal felt a genuine connection with her. As weeks turned into months, Jamal and Mia became good friends. Jamal's feelings for her deepened, but he remembered his parents' advice and the scriptures they shared. He treated Mia with respect and kindness, always mindful of her feelings and boundaries. Jamal also started attending his church's youth group more regularly, where he learned about the importance of building relationships on a foundation of faith and shared values. He realized that true love, the kind described in the Bible, was about mutual respect, understanding, and a shared journey of growth. One Saturday during Sabbath service, the youth pastor spoke about Hebrews 13 verse 4, emphasizing the importance of honoring marriage and preparing for the future. The pastor explained that young people should focus on building strong, faith-based foundations rather than engaging in casual relationships that could lead to heartache and sin. Marriage should be honored by all, the pastor said, and that means preparing for it with integrity and purity. It's not about playing house or having a boyfriend or girlfriend just to fit in. It's about respecting God's design for relationships and valuing the sanctity of marriage. Jamal took these lessons to heart, understanding that his journey of respecting and honoring women was ongoing. He knew that as he grew older, he would continue to learn and make mistakes, but the foundation his parents and his faith had given him would always guide him. 
Years later, as Jamal stood at the altar waiting for his bride, he reflected on his journey. He had learned that true love was about respect, patience, and kindness. It was about seeing the person beyond the appearance and valuing their heart and soul. As he watched Mia walk down the aisle, he knew that their relationship was built on a solid foundation of faith, mutual respect, and genuine love. And so, Jamal's journey from a curious teenager to a loving husband was marked by the wisdom of scripture and the guidance of his parents, who taught him to love with purity and honor, seeing every woman as a sister in Christ and preparing for a future that honored God's plan for marriage.